You ready for this? Bombs away! Oh my god. <laughs> that did a lot more damage than I thought it was going to do. The Vatican is going down, guys. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Civ 6. All roads lead to Rome. And I actually got it right this time. So, if you remember, last episode, we focused on expanding our empire, which we have done. We've got a nice little border here with the Netherlands now. We've got China down here. We are in the middle of battling the barbarians at the top, and we have a settler moving up to this position to build our final city, which should... we might I might build one up there, actually, guys, just to make sure we got our land fully surrounded, so to speak, or, or fully covered, if you like. But we're going to get into it, my friends. Hope you're having a great day out there. Hope life is treating you well. Got a farm there. And skip home. At the moment, guys, <clears throat> thanks for all the support in the series, by the way. I'm glad you guys have been enjoying it, because I've certainly been enjoying playing it. I do love this game. But I want to focus, at the moment, you know, on getting started, getting everything set up. But eventually, because this is probably quite a long game, now, what I might do... Attack these guys. They're, they're man of war, actually. I should be quite careful. I took a bit of damage there, guys. Yeah, no, what I want to do... Is probably focus on... What the hell am I saying? I've totally forgot what I was saying. Let's put these here. Yeah, at the moment, I want to focus on getting everything done. But eventually, because it's quite a long game, what I'm going to do is... Probably do some bits and bobs in between episodes. Otherwise, the episodes are going to be very, very long. So, you know, for example, if I was going to attack someone, like Netherlands, I'd set up an army before I start sort of the episode. So then, you know, we can do a little story, so to speak, for the episode itself. See if we can deal with this barbarian. And he's dead. All right, we're going to upgrade these legionnaires. Man of War. They served us well, guys. They served us well. Right, we're going to build a campus here. We want to start getting some... Ooh, plus three science. Lovely. We're going to build an ar arena here. Keep our people happy. We have abandoned this fort. We'll probably build over it at some point. Let's get some walls up here, guys. What did he build there? Oh, okay. We built that. So we're going to get... We've already got loads of spices. We've got enough farms. Um, you know, we'll get the spices. We might as well, guys. We might as well. Might skip the time. Them Chinese guys have learnt to embark now, so... Because they, they were stuck here. Which is quite funny. Lahore's got some nice military in there, ours as well, so if we do go to war with Netherlands, we can Levi their military. Okay, we won't get the spices because I just removed the It's gone I'll remove the trees, but it's gone towards production of our ancient walls, guys. So that was like 13 turns. Right, so we're gonna move up because I think there's a barbarian camp up here, and we're gonna send these boys up here to deal with that. Oh, we get this city up. Should I build it? I'm going to build it on this hill because we get better production, guys. Don't forget, I need to buy a... I'm, I'm going to save up now for a builder here because we've got no fresh water, so... Until we get some um, improvements going, this city is going to be horrendous. And I mean horrendous. I'll leave you there whilst these guys heal. Build our city there. We've got Caesar, Caesar Augusta. Right, we are going to build the Colosseum, guys, because we are Rome. And it would kind of be illegal, wouldn't it, if we didn't build the Colosseum. We built the Great Bath, after all. Well, we can't build an aqueduct because there's no fresh water, but we can build a granary. This one's got better production. I think because this one's built on a hill. This one was built on flat. I know I could have built it here, but I kind of wanted a coastal city, guys. It's fine. We'll figure these cities out. The borders will connect eventually, once these cities grow. So this will be one great big territory. Because I'm probably going to put one more city up there, just so we can grow up here. 
And I think that will do for our cities. And then we could just start working on growing our cities, growing our military. And, yeah. Seeing where we're at, I'm Sultan Musa, Sayyid Mali. And We have just met Sultan Musa. <sighs> and that is the Mali Empire, guys. So we now know our fifth person, well, our fourth person in the game. There's one more we have to find, guys. Let's send him a delegation. See if we can do some trade with him. Oh, he needs spices. Sugar. That's going to have that gypsum. Get rid of that. There you go. I don't want to give my elephants, guys, because that's my luxury. I'm doing an arena here. This is going well. We're doing education right now. We're going to do stirrups next and then gunpowder. Because I want to get some gunpowder going. Can we afford a builder yet? I mean, 240. Get a builder so we can start we can get the production up in this city. It is going up naturally as the population grows. Obviously, more people to work on the local area, so to speak. Well, there's some warriors there. Who are coming to attack me? By the looks of it. Day we, stop explore. we don't need a new government. We'll hit them. Did a good bit of damage. Right, hopefully these guys kill them. No, they didn't. That means they're going to attack my archers, aren't they? That means they're both going to attack my archers now. Hopefully they survive. We recorded history. Right, let's build an encampment. Um, I wanted to put it further down. We'll put it here. That's good though, guys, because it means if we get attacked, we've got encampment there. City there, with city walls. Encampment there, city there. The Rome is very well protected. Right, we are going to build an entertainment complex. We're going to build it here. Should be good. Oh, we've unlocked Merchant Republic. New government, guys. This gives us 10% gold in all cities with an established governor, which we have a good amount of them. 15% towards districts. I very much like this one because you get a good amount of cards. So I will take one gold for each of my envoys and city-states. We'll keep the barbarian card slotted. We'll keep these two because we still need to build a settler. We will keep... We'll add some of these later. We do two gold from all trade routes. How many trade routes? We've well, we got two. No, we'll take the... Sit, no. Um... Yeah, no, we will. We'll take the extra gold. Can't go wrong with some extra gold, guys. We can afford a builder now. Skip turn. So now we can start. He's trying to buy my diplomatic power, and there is no chance of that, my friend. I will not sell that. That stuff becomes worth a fortune later on in the game, guys. <laughs> Obviously, it doesn't matter too much in this world because we're going for a domination victory. You know, our plan is to Obliterate the enemy. Oh, they have attacked these. That surprised me. The purpose of education. Education dump. Well, let's finish these guys off. Well, I'm going to move these boys up. There it is, guys. Barbarian camp. All right, more production. It's already knocked three off the gan granary. Gannery. Almost a gannery, then. I'm going to build some farms. Probably one there, one there. I'm going to get these horses, guys. Can I afford to buy that tile? No. But it grows in one turn, so we'll be able to do that next turn. All right, stirrups. We are well on our way to gunpowder. All right, let's build some walls. In case they want to attack. I'm going to get an encampment here, probably, guys. I kind of want this tile here. Hopefully... How much is that? I need to buy that tile. 165. I need to get that tile before Wuhan get it. Then I could build my encampment there, and that would mess them right up if they started stationing units here. Because this is Prince difficulty, and what they normally do on Prince is they, when they attack you, they station their army on the front line. And then from there, they move in. I've lived through some terrible things. In right, let's move these boys. Oh, they got bloody crossbowmen. That is really not good. Taken out two. 
Oh, that was good damage, guys. Really good damage. Your civil service. You go and get the horses. Every little helps. A new governor. We're not going to do that, though, guys. We are going to take the science promotion. The one science per citizen. That gets our science up to 43, which isn't fantastic, but we're keeping up with the rest, guys, which is the main thing. This area's quite big up here. I'll definitely need to get a city here. I don't want to build a city up here, guys, because it's it would be it wouldn't grow at all. You can't even build farms, but you get a city on the bottom bit. And, the, and then the borders would expand up there anyway. Alright, let's see if we can take these out. Yes, we got them, guys. Alright, it's attack. Mate, we can't do that till next turn. Bet that scout attacks my archers. Oh, Netherlands want to build an embassy in my capital, which of course I do not mind. Right, I would love to stand and attack you, Scout, but I have your base to take out, my friend. Right, let's hit it, boys. Come on. We're much more powerful than Spearman. Let's go. That was a great victory. Right. Here, I'm going to build my trader here, guys. With a farm on the maze. We can start producing some crisps. <laughs> Pretty sure maize is another form of potato. Betwixt well, the not. stirrup and the ground, mercy. Something else you can use for a crisp, basically. Probably many things. Oh. I don't want about. Right, let's take that out. Boom. That was super successful. Have a farm going there. Oh. We're going to get them elephants as well, which means we can start trading elephants. Gunpowder, guys. We can use our ranged attack on the scout. How did he survive that? Wow, one HP. <laughs> Unbelievably lucky. He's going to walk straight into my archers now. The taxpayer. You absolute donut, mate. Right now, we're actually going to keep these boys up here. Because it should, if I put them like here, it should stop barbarian camps spawning in the fog of war. And get that nighter. I was going to get the elephants, but I didn't see the nighter. We've got 402. So I just remembered we wanted to buy this tile here. I'm actually going to spend it on these tiles, guys, because it's important that I stop Wuhan expanding. I know I need to buy builders. We don't want them expanding too fast. Build that dam I needed to build here. On Rome. Um, get industrial. No, we get campus going. Best science. Oh, I think the sheep are getting it. Sorry, sheep. Not your day today. But I need that science, baby. Right, put the archers back in base. Let them go and recover. I'm going to leave these guys here. As I said, obviously... It should stop them spawning. He's happy with me. He's gone to war. Oh, Netherlands have declared war on Genghis Khan. So guys, Netherlands and Mongolia are at war. So where are they? Go away, mate. I know you. I know you like me. Ah, I see China. I've got men here. How many cities have Netherlands got though? We've got more than that too. Because last time I saw when I started this episode, they were having barbarians attack their south. Our people still await your command. Oh god, we, we've got we Dark Age. We've got Dark Age, guys. We failed to make the error score. Oh, look at the way it changes the game as well. Changes the colour. Well, we're gonna take every time we create a new district. We will be creating lots of them. Put some walls on here. Move. Keep burning through these turns, guys. I want to see what's going to happen. We're going to trade with Harlem. No, where's their capital? Rotterdam? Oh, that's not their capital. We're going to trade with Harlem because it gives us the best things. 
Probably should have traded with Preslav, to be honest. That was a bit silly. I don't know. We'll build a campus, guys. Um, here. Plus two. Get some walls going up over here. Main reason I'm doing walls first is because if we get attacked by sea, by barbarians, um, boats, barbarian boats, and we can actually defend the cities, guys, because we've got no archers in there yet. Alright. Fortify them bad boys in there. I want to buy... I mean, I can't buy that tile. I can buy that one. I understand why I was expanding that way and not that way. I think we're going to lose the elephants to Wuhan, guys. Right, you trade with Preslav. That money. And set up a new road as well. Right. Alright, everything's quiet at the moment, guys, so I'm gonna I'm probably gonna skip a few turns. I'll be back. While the Colosseum stands, right. Rome Coliseum. shall stand. When the Colosseum falls, Rome shall fall. When Rome falls, the world shall fall. You heard it here first, guys. When Rome falls, the world shall fall. Which is not a fact, because we're still here. There is a Colosseum, my friends. Beautiful. You can't go around arresting the thief. Really happy with that. Right, we do diplomatic service. I'm going to build a university. We can start getting our science up. And a library. I'm going to get entertainment complex up over here. I'm not actually. I'm going to put an encampment here. That is going to mess them right up. Let's keep these boys alerted up here. I'm going to buy that sugar tile now. Wuhan. Wuhan are going to take this part. There's nothing we can do about that, guys. We've got another governor. Um, we are going to put him... in here. Put him here, guys. <coughs> Alright, let's move on. Well, like I said a minute ago, guys, there's not much going on right now, so I am going to skip forward a few turns. We've, we're have we about to complete gunpowder, which we have. Man is a military animal. So I'm going to pick... I'm going to do castle so we can get some medieval walls up. I'm going to start moving towards flood barrier soon, guys, because I want to make sure that... Well, we do not flood, so... They all keep telling me how much they love me. What's going on with this war down there? Not a great deal. I think they declared war with like literally nothing. Right, I want the culture bombs. A couple of diplom diplomacy on that. Do ivory. Alright, let's build a library here. Skip turn. They want to, everyone wants embassy in my capital, guys. It's kind of funny. I'm going to buy a builder here. I'm not only 360 for a builder. We're going to save up for that. Oh, we can do it next turn. Oh, what's she offering me? Diplomacy and money. I don't want your open borders. I don't really want your diplomacy to be. I can get that myself. Yeah, I'll take that. I just helped her in the war against Mongolia. Just has given us night, so fog, she can build some guns run. now, guys. <laughs> well, we'll do metal casting. We can build some cannons. I'm going to buy a builder up here. Skip the old turn. We can get this stone, elephants. Leave them there because I will cut that tree. Go to campus, guys. Plus four. Yes, that's fantastic. Get a harbour going up here. These are going to be our sea cities. We've got one over here as well. I'll make a sea city here, guys. And probably that city up here that I'm going to build. Which is what I'm going to do now. 18 turns is horrendous. 
Man, that is shocking. Build a water mill, guys. Why is the production so bad, though? Yes, he has 12. We'll build a, set, build a settler in there. Build a wood, uh, build a wood lum, uh, lumber farm. We've just lost the Vatican, guys, so I think we're actually going to have to take the Vatican out. So I might do that soon. I might wipe out the Vatican. Let's reform our friendships. So no one can attack us at the moment. Just whilst we're getting ourselves up and running. Huh. We're now friends with everyone, guys. <laughs> of course, you can have an embassy in my capital. Mansa Musa. Who reckons, guys, next episode, should we take out the, the harbour? Should we take out the Vatican? I'm going to need some catapults. Mongolia want one now. Well, I'm going to need some catapults, guys. And let's bring you boys down. I need to upgrade my units. How many archers have I got? Start bringing men. I hope to God I don't get attacked. That are really... Are there corpses as well? Alright, let's start building some trebuchets. And preparing to take out the Vatican. Fortunately, I don't know. I don't know if I should take it, though, because it's right on that. It's not a great city, is it? Well, it, it's all right. It's just right on that volcano, so that might... When that volcano blows, it will really mess everything up, guys. More elephants? Right, I'm going to skip forward. Until our army is surrounding the Vatican, guys, and then we're going to wipe out the Times Vatican. Have changed. A few moments later. Right, so guys, we have moved forward a few turns. We have surrounded Vatican with the forces we had. Um, upgrade these boys. Upgrade them soon. I need a lot of gold for that. We're just waiting for the bombard and a couple of knights, basically, to be completed. And then we're going to move in and start attacking the Vatican, guys. But we're going to get this last city up here, which is what I wanted to do. Let's build Ostia there. Obviously, first thing we need to build. We can actually build a bath in this one. An aqueduct. Let's do that. And this Bombard will now be built. We're going to place him here. The problem is we were building trebuchets, I but I did the technology halfway through. So then we start. So then obviously that changed. That changed to um, bombards after through the building process. So, right, let's do siege tactics so we can build better walls. Put medieval walls on that city. Get a lighthouse going, guys. Put some more in Lahore. 166 gold, so we can't do much with that yet. But when this bombard reaches firing position, which is two hexes, we will start attacking the Vatican. Because we've got a lot of units in place, guys. I just can't decide yet. I can't decide if we're going to keep the city or destroy it. Obviously, it would be a nice city to have. Sort of right in the centre here. I don't know, guys. Let's declare war. Time to annihilate the Vatican, guys. Let's move in our armies. First thing is to wipe out the local guard, I'd say. Move in there. Then we then move these boys in here. What else have we got? We've got the cannon. Why can't it fire from there? That's ridiculous. So you can fire from there, so I'm going to have to move him around here, guys. That's really annoying. Now let's move him in position. Let's bring them around here. Right. Let's go, guys. Skip turn and see what happens. So we've got to be careful because they have got the defensive walls. It's really annoying that that cannon wouldn't shoot from there. I don't understand why. Right, let's pillage their farm. 
Well, we're going to start firing back on the city. Oh, we're doing a bit of damage, guys. Oh, I think the Vatican's going to go down quite easily here, guys. Ready for this? Bombs away! Oh, my God. <laughs> that did a lot more damage than I thought it was going to do. The Vatican is going down, guys. The Vatican is going down. We're about to finish off them crossbowmen. God damn it. Sorry I couldn't save you, my friends. We go mitigated that flood. With the dam, which is fantastic. Right. Bring these boys in position. So we're now going to lay siege. Did I just... I did just move them, didn't I? I didn't realise it was the ones down there. For God's sake. Right, let's hit it with a bomb. And then we should be able to take it. With our melee units, hopefully. Move them, boys. they got guns in there. There we got it, guys. The Vatican. Oh, go away, man. Taking my camera away. Vatican is ours, guys. Right. Do we keep it? Or do we delete it? Do we raise it or do we keep it? Because we could utilise this territory. For much more. And it's right next to a volcano. I'm going to raise it, guys. I might... I'm going to raise it. Because these borders will connect. I just don't want the city right in the middle, guys. To be honest with you. Right. Build some better walls around Rome. Our night has just been completed. I'm going to move our knight down there, guys. Good thing is, as well, get rid of all that rubbish. Now, we got this whole army that we've just built. I mean, I think we did a bit overkill, though. People are mad at me now. What better seat state. Move the builders up there. I think that has a little bit of overkill. But, I think it was needed. Put these boys in cities that need gardens, so put them in the in there. Move my cannon and put it in there. Um where do you want to go? I don't need you in Rome, do I? We've got a cannon there. Put him there. We'll put him there. The legions can go and sit in Rome because they're corpse. We'll put these back up here for now, guys. Just until our territory expands. We'll leave the bombard there in case they want to get a bit funny with us. We'll bust a hole in their dam. Right. Put a library in there and move on. So we have just successfully annihilated the Vatican. Move our knights. It was in our way. It wasn't actually about that, guys. To be honest. What it was for me is the Vatican is only offers faith, really. And I'm not working with faith on this one. I don't really care too much about um holy stuff. So I didn't obviously I'm going for this city state down here as well. So if some somebody else had take over, taken over this one as you saw before I attacked them. And that kind of means that it puts me in a bad position because it puts enemies right in the centre of my territory. I'd rather that not be a possibility, guys. So wiping them out was absolutely necessary, in my humble opinion. Let's move up. Well, then boys are in position. Cannons go in there. Do I need these up here? Or should I bring them down the front line? Yeah, you know, I'm going to get them down here on the front line, actually, guys. What I am going to do is... Oh, I can't get scouts anymore. Oh, that's a pain. My original scout died in the... Um, the lowest is to attack. The making of this game. Right, let's buy a builder here. We can start working this territory. Let's do cartography. Um, you can go out there and get them spices, my friend. It's hoping nothing spawns up here. As this territory expands, it shouldn't do. 
theoretically. Get a commercial hub going. Build it adjacent to that. Let's build a university in there. Everyone's moving in the position now, look. Why have they stopped? Where were they supposed to go? Why didn't they go in there? I say I wanted the Corpse Legions to go home Rome. We station our units all along the front border. Well, the, the other countries. So we've got China, Netherlands. If they decide to attack us, that puts us in a good defensive position. You never know with these guys. They can just attack you for no damn reason. <laughs> in this game. I'm a bit finicky about that, guys. I like to put it in position. <laughs> in a market to come. That was ridiculous. Home. Let me know in the comments if you play this game, do you like to face them in the correct position in the uh, alert, sorry. In the um encampment. Alright. Remove that from there. I like to remove the trees, guys, because I know it don't do much for global warming, but later on in the game they catch on fire, and if you remove the trees, then it doesn't happen. Let's build a dam. So we've got all these rivers shut off now. I don't know why I needed a dam here when I built one up here. Because this is the same river system that goes down here and here. And now it's got bloody dams everywhere, look. Alright, university. Actually, no. Just put an encampment here, guys. Yeah, I'm going to put my encampment there. To protect against the north. Just in case anything does decide it wants to turn up on my doorstep. Improve our nitre take. I want to get everyone in position and ready to roll. Right, this is going well. We've got our our boys there. I'm going to move them down here. There's the knights, guys. Looking pretty fantastic. I'm pleased to see the great minds of the world prefer our empire to yours. Tell you what, you don't want to get mouthy of me. Whatever your name is. Wilhelmina. Will Will Helmina. That is how you get yourself killed. For the university guys, get our science going. We've got our science compared to everyone else. We're sitting at 107 science now. Per turn, 109. Alright, don't really care on that one. Do melee. Spam that one, guys. Not all who wander. Get our spices. I'm gonna build two farms here, guys. And some other bits from here. Can I buy a builder? These builders are getting more and more expensive now. Problem with civilian units. Let's do... Let's do scientific theory, because I want to try and get Oxford University. I like to do, um... I like to work quite heavily on science builds in these, in these games. Let's put a farm here. Got another... Trader... That we can build, so we got... Traders are here, guys. So we can have up to three traders right now. Which is quite cool. We are going to build an arena to keep the people in that city happy. In this city, we're going to get an entertainment complex going. We're on the seafront. Alright, then boys is stationed in there. There's no point in upgrading them, guys, because I need to save up for a builder. See, we've got a lot of um, land to work in our area. Got a library. Alright, let's get a granary going. You get another farm going. Let's buy that builder we needed. We get that copper. This lighthouse crab. was the sign assure of all armies. Oh, I forgot to tell you I did that. When I was building up for the army, I'll probably edit it out. I started working on the Grey Lighthouse. And here we have the Grey Lighthouse. Boom. And as I normally seem to be doing lately, I'm actually going to end it on that episode of a wonder being constructed because it seems to be a great time at the end of the video. So 
Hope you enjoyed that one, my friends. In that one, we wiped out the Vatican City, who was a bit of a danger. It was a city-state right in the middle of our territory. Somebody else could have utilised their army against us, and I didn't fancy that. So I thought I'd wipe them out now before they get tougher, because them city-states, they, they don't build more cities, but their cities grow really powerful. Like They get really strong defensively, and they just become a pain in the ass to wipe out further down the line. So good time to do it now, guys. Plus, they only offer faith, so I'm not really interested in that. So yeah. If you enjoyed the video, my friends, drop a like, drop a comment, let me know if you're enjoying the series. If you're new, subscribe. I'll see you for the next one. Stay awesome. Peace.